Pakistan independence. My name is Ahmed Abdul from Class 8. 14 August is a day of independence and the day to stand up together, national anthem, and raising the sound of proclaiming that we are Pakistan. Yes, of course. This is devotional day for all Pakistani nationals, not only in Pakistan, but also for those Pakistanis who are sitting in abroad. The reason is that Pakistan is a unique recognition on the map of the world. The reason is before the formation of a separate country for subcontinental Muslims. No one respects the real religious rights of Muslims. One of the big issues between Hindus and Muslims was the difference between their living style, their rituals, their foods, as well as their litanies. If Muslims used to eat cow and the Hindus used to adore the cow, Muslims bow before Allah, the Hindus bow before stones. Moreover, Hindus were superior in amount, while Muslims were a few and helpless. So, in these hurdles, one man sees a dream of independence and aim to make his dream come true. So, after a lot of efforts and sacrifices, Pakistan came into being. The one man who saw the dream of Pakistan was Dr. Alama Muhammad Iqbal, the poet of peace. At that time, Muhammad Ali Jinnah was a student as a member of Indian National Congress. But after listing this dream, then he realized that Congress was just supporting Hindus and neglecting Muslims. He joined all India Muslim League. The entrance of this hero to this party was a massive turnaround from Muslims. Sir Sayyid Ahmad Khan did a great job. Sir Sayyid advised Muslims to learn English so that British can understand that they were not against them. He organized schools and colleges where Muslims were independently allowed to take admitted and study English. Afterwards, when Muslims got admitted, they were allowed to apply for jobs. Through this, Muslims were able to get jobs and it helped them a lot. At the start, Muhammad Ali Jinnah was in support of the narrative that British should leave the country and give it Muslims and Hindus who, will, who can live here with peace. But later, he realized that it is impossible to them to be live together. So, he raised the voice of separation of both nations and demanded the British to leave country and before leaving, divide two nations, make two countries for them. Following continued hard work and sacrifices, Pakistan came into existence in 1947. On 14 August, a new country came into existence and it is called Pakistan. When it was announced that all the Muslims of subcontinent will migrate India to Pakistan, Hindus start killing them openly, but in the end, Muslims got their homeland. And so, it is really a big day for all of us to remember the sacrifices and efforts, and we all thank Allah who bestowed us with a peaceful land where we will live independently under the Islamic rule.